everyone! Welcome to Art Academy! I'm PJ and this is my friend, Art. Hi, PJ! Hi, guys! That's right! Welcome to Art Academy! So, welcome to our second, second episode! Grabe ka, PJ! First episode na pala yung nauna. Akala ko audition lang yun. Oh, Art! You did well, kaya! <laughs> anyway, this is Art Academy. This is where we share our opinions. Right. A place where we will talk about our lives as teenagers. Yes, Peach. Ang hirap kaya maging teenager, di ba? So true. Daming work, daming school activities. Ang hirap kaya magbalance. <laughs> well, 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 kaya nga may Art Academy. Here, let's talk about topics that matter. Things that can help us get through every day. At pag-usapan natin ang makakatulong sa atin to be better. And to help us to do well in school and in life. This is Art, Art Academy! Academy. Last time, we introduced the segments of Art Academy. Today naman, may pag-uusapan tayo, di ba? Art scene? Uh, ano yung sabi mo? <laughs> di ba? Art scene? Uh, wag mo akong tawagin art scene. <laughs> well, you're art. And you're good at art, so you are my art scene. <laughs> No. Oh, come on, Artsy! Ay, naku, Peach. Introduce na lang natin ang topic natin for today. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Art Academy is not just a place to express. This is also a place where we will talk about things that matter. At, sabi nga ni Artsy... PJ. Yes, Artsy? Ay, naku, nakakasar ka na. <laughs> Uy, galit na yan. Kasi di ba sabi ko, wag? Cool it, Art. I'm just joking. Actually, gusto talaga kitang magalit eh. Huh? Bakit? Because <laughs> I want to introduce our first topic for our episode today. You know, anger management. Sana kasi di ba sinabi mo na lang? <laughs> Para to ang feels, di ba? Okay, fine. Well, we have a good episode for everyone today. Let's talk about feeling angry and what it does to our body and brain. Yes! We have a special guest today, a talented and cool person who will share with us some drawing skills. So cool, di ba? Arts? Ka na naman. <laughs> so that's Art Academy for today. May guest na, may discussion pa. Kaya simulan na natin. Here at Art Academy, we believe that anyone can create to express. So, ang topic natin today ay tungkol sa anger management. Ah, <laughs> uh, Peach, anong ginagawa mo? <laughs> Sorry, Art. Kamukha mo kasi itong mga memes na to kapag nagagalit ka. <laughs> oh, right. Memes. <laughs> yes. And that means it's time for our short segment called Meme Talk. Para sa ating meme talk today, let's answer the question, Ano yung tsura mo kapag galit ka? I'll show you some memes and i-figure out natin sino nga ba kamukha ni Art sa mga ito. Oh, bakit ako? Eh, ikaw lang kasi magagalit sa atin eh. Hi, naku, Princess Joey. Okay, moving on. Is it A, a cute cat saying, I am not angry. I am happiness challenged. Or baka naman B, a cute black bear saying, I am not mad, just very, very angry. Or maybe it's C. Oh, a bunny. Basahin natin. I am angry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry na, Art. Nako, hindi naman kita inaasar. I'm just having fun. Uh, hindi mo naman kamukha yung mga memes na yan. Well, mabuti na-realize mo, PJ. Anyway, ang point lang naman talaga namin ay kapag galit ka, nag-iiba ang itsura mo. <laughs> yep, parang si Art. Super cute! Pero kapag galit siya, nako, 
Don't even dare to try to talk to him. Hindi lang naman ni Chura ang nagbabago kapag galit eh. In this episode, let's learn more about what happens to our brain and body when we get angry. And what to do to avoid the not-so-healthy results of too much anger. That and more sa pagbabalik ng Art, Art Academy. Academy. hi -o. So, you want to know more about anger? Anger is like boiling water. Kapag angry or stressed ka, para kang kumukul ng tubig na naghihintay na lumabas sa tayo. Anger is a normal reaction. It happens. It's a feeling or an emotion. There are reasons and triggers why we feel angry. May dahilan bakit tayo nagagalit. When we feel angry, we might feel sad or worried. Mga natural na reaction yan, kaya naman, okay lang na magalit. Pero, ang hindi okay ay ang sobrang magalit. Blink? What's wrong? Blink! Calm down! Let's look at Blink. He is angry. Galit siya ngayon. What happens to our body and brain when we are angry? What is happening to Blink? Blink's emotion may be likened to a roller coaster. Minsan nasa taas, minsan nasa baba, medyo impulsive. It's because Blink is a teenager. The part of the brain responsible for decision-making and regulating emotions are still developing. Marami pa rin siyang hindi naiintindihan, kaya naman nauunahan ng huge feelings. Nagagalit, nalulungkot, nag-aalala. Blink, let's count from 1 to 10. Right. So, we now know that whatever Blink is feeling is valid. Being angry is okay. But too much anger is not good for the body and brain. We need to learn how to manage our anger and express it appropriately. Kapag galit ka, simulan mo sa tamang paghinga. Do some breathing exercises. Bilang ka from 1 to 10. This helps delay the brain from acting impulsively or negatively. It also helps release anger energy. Another strategy is to distract the brain. Walk away to cool off. Take one step back. Have a little space for yourself. Talk to the person who angered you when you've already calmed down. Talk to the person calmly. Let it go, but be calm. Hey. Lastly, train your brain to be relaxed and calm down. So stuff like stretching, singing, dancing, painting, and doing arts and crafts. <laughs> yes, Blink, I am proud of you too. So everyone, don't forget, being angry is okay. But you have to manage it properly to help our overall health and well-being. Bye-o! Magbabalik ang Art Academy. Abangan sa Lutong Daza. Ni hao! Malalaureat ang episode na to dahil lahat ng Chinese restaurant favorites nyo lulutuin natin kasama ang napakamatipuno na si Javi Benitez. Gorgeous family. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Nandiyan ang sweet and sour pork, Chinese fried chicken, diem butim, at yang chow fried rice. Pwede saan ang papa? Kita kits sa Lutong Daza. Let's get together. Okay, we just learned that it is okay to be angry. Okay lang naman magalit. Normal nga yun, di ba? Yes, Peach. Pero hindi dapat lagi at huwag sobra. Yes. Kaya ikaw, Art, huwag kang laging masungit. Pero sometimes naman pala is okay. Well, being angry is also a release of a negative emotion inside us. Kaya kailangan din natin ilabas yun. <laughs> yep. We need to <clears throat> let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, it is okay to express anger in order to let go of negative emotions we have. At dapat tama rin ang paraan ng pag-express natin ng anger. So, let's now move on to a different kind of expression. It's time for our guest artist of the day! <laughs> so, yun nga, as teenagers, it is important for us to express ourselves. But of course, mahalaga rin that we learn how to express ourselves properly. Mm, kaya naman today, we have a special guest who will teach us about facial expressions in a particular art style. Mm -hmm. And we have no less than the box office artist himself, Sir James Reyes. Hello, Pop! Hi, Sir James! Hi, PJ. Hi, Art. Happy to be here. Hi, Sir James. Sir James prepared a special tutorial for us. Yes, PJ. Kaya panoorin na natin. When it comes to drawing expressions, uh, pretty much we focus on the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. And that can already tell us so much about how a person's feeling by the way we draw. Okay? So let's just draw like a normal face first. Why don't we do that? So I'm going to start over here on this side here. And we're going to go ahead and draw a normal face. I'm just using a regular pencil. Quickly shape out the head here. Okay? Nice round shape here. I'm going to draw some guidelines so I know where the eyes and the mouth are going to go. And let's just draw a normal face. We're just going to draw a normal face here. So. I think I want the eye, one eye to go on this area, one eye to go here, and I think I'm gonna round out the face like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a circle here for one eye, just using regular pencil here. So anybody could do this. So you got two circles for the eyes, and then I'm going to draw a nice kind of semi-circle around like that. Now I'm gonna thicken this up just a little bit, just a little bit, with a little bit of an eyelash. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and draw the actual eye itself. Okay, I'll, I'll go full circle like that. And then I'm going to draw another circle down here. Another circle like that, one circle like this. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and fill this part in like this. The eyelashes there. Clean up the eyelashes a little bit. So we're, what we're doing here is just, just a regular expression here. And then we're going to try different ones. Just like that, and then maybe the spirit goes down like this, and then maybe something overall for the hair here. Just like that, and then the eyebrows are going to be neutral, so I'm just going to draw a couple curved lines at the top here for the eyebrows. Yeah, I think it could do better than this, just warming up, okay? So just to give us a little simple uh, shape here, okay? So I'm going to draw another one here. But let's start drawing whether the expression, the person is getting a little bit more angry. Okay, why don't we try that, okay? And uh, let me draw the hair first here, okay, before I go ahead and draw the eyes. Because one thing that's not gonna change is the hair. The hair's gonna stay the same. And as you go along, you'll find you'll draw these a little bit better. Okay, so those are the constants. They're gonna stay the same. But what's gonna change is the eyes. We're gonna change the eyes just a little bit, okay? These circles can't draw the most perfect circles in the world. What I'm gonna do is sometimes, you know, when you, you're getting a little bit miffed, right? Sometimes your eyebrows kind of go down, right? Sometimes your eyes squint just a little bit. Sometimes your mouth, you're not curved up anymore. Maybe the mouth's more neutral now. Or it's pointing down. And then what really makes this person starting to get angry is the eyebrows. You can see it. You can see a lot of expression when it comes to eyebrows. In fact, I might even change the mouth just a little bit more. I'm gonna change this mouth. Don't be afraid to go back and fix things because 
I think it was a little too neutral. Maybe I just wanted to do slightly frowning. Just, slight, just a slight frown. You can tell this person is just starting to get annoyed. Getting annoyed there, just like that. Okay, but what if the person is starting to get really angry? So let's go on this side here again. We're gonna start out the same. So all of this will remain the same. The hair, the shape of the head. For the most part, it's gonna stay very similar. But a few differences for this one here, okay? Because now the person is really angry, starting to get really mad. We go ahead and I'm actually going to draw a little bit more of the circle here, same on this side. But then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line, kind of like the eyebrows, cut off the eyes, just like that. You look mad, right? And then what happens when you're very angry? Sometimes you yell a little bit. So maybe the mouth is open for you. They're, they're yelling at him. Ah! I'm so mad. Okay, and I'm gonna go in here and erase the guidelines. So it's like the eyebrows are cutting off the eyes. Here. And you can see just by the shape of the eyebrows, just by the shape of the mouth, you gotta already see the expressions here. And we got an angry face, but I don't wanna leave it like that. I don't wanna leave it like that. I don't wanna leave everybody on an angry note. Why don't we say that the person solved their problem, was able to get over their anger, and then they're happy again. Now this one's like slightly happy. Why don't we draw one more? You notice I start out the same for every single one. Start out the same. Okay, and this time, because they're happy, maybe they have a big mouth. It's like, ah, I'm so happy, yay! <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the mouth, maybe around here, I'm gonna draw big. Like that. So you see how this mouth here, where they're yelling, this is similar, or in a happy way. And then now, they're so happy, their eyes are closed, they're smiling, yay! I'm gonna go ahead, and instead of drawing circles, I'm just gonna draw a couple of uh, curved lines. You draw some eyebrows here as, as well, doing the same thing. And that's a very, very happy face. Very, very happy, okay? So you can have a lot of fun with expressions. There are so many more expressions you could try. We have sad. We have, you know, confused. We have crying, you know. But there's so many you could try. But you see the difference. One thing I want you to notice is the difference. There's not much. Not much to go from extremely angry to happy. All you need to do is close your eyes and smile. Okay, and there it is. We have got a normal, we have starting to get angry, very angry, but then end up happy. And that's how to draw a few simple expressions. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun drawing this and hopefully all of you had a lot of fun drawing with me. Art Academy will be right back. Alimutan mo, anniversary natin? Eh kahit nga siguro, sarili mong birthday ay hindi mo rin alam. Ang birthday ko! Eh kasi, birthday nga. Uy, baka naman pwede kami makikain dyan. O, Diding, eh yung naudlot kanina, dito na natin ituloy, ha? Dito na po? Oo, oh, sige. Okay. O, oh, diba? Ay, ay, diba? Okay po ba, masarap? Ay, surprise? Nga! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Academy is back. We have our guest artist for the day, the box office artist, Sir James Reyes. Wow, Sir James, your artwork is incredible. Grabe po, ang galing po. One art style, different emotions. At ang galing po, no, kahit isang detail lang po ang mabago, naiiba po yung itsura at syempre, mas naipapakita po ang emotions. Sir James, sure po ako na maraming gustong maging kagaya ninyo na magaling sa art. Kaya, now, it's time to know more about our guest artist of the day. So, Sir James, marami pong nakakakilala sa inyo bilang the box office artist sa YouTube where you post many of your artworks po. Some of them take hours po, right? Absolutely. Napaka-patient yun naman po in doing all of your artworks. Well, you know, it's I, I have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it's something I've been doing ever since I was a child. So, doing these long pieces of art, it's very relaxing and it's very, very enjoyable for me. So, naisip po tuloy namin, how do you remain cool and cool-headed? 
excited throughout the process. Well, it's tough, but once I get into the process, mm. then once I just actually start drawing, I start to get lost in the drawing, and at the end of the day, it actually becomes very, very relaxing, so it, it kind of calms me down. And speaking of being cool and cool-headed, parang di ko po kayo ma-imagine na nagagalit. Have you ever gotten angry before, Bob? Well, of course, I think we all we all get angry once in a while. Just a little bit angry. So I gotta take a step back or maybe start over again. Uh, but again, it's something I enjoy doing. Once I really start doing things I, I like doing, it helps me kind of get over that anger. All right. Um, can you also share a specific experience about being angry, Bob? Oh, that I had about being angry. Well, um... Okay, I will tell you uh, one time, believe it or not, when I was in college, uh, I was about to uh, fail a specific art course. It was called Interpretive Art, and I wasn't very good at it. And uh, the teacher actually was going to fail me, but the teacher gave me an option. He said, if you go into this specific course, then I will uh, give you a passing grade. Uh, at first I was a little uh, angry, but not at the teacher, I was angry at myself. Because uh, life didn't turn out the way I thought it would. I was uh, thinking I was going to go in this certain direction, but then because of what happened, I ended up going into another direction, which actually turned out better for me. It actually started my career in comic books, actually going in the other direction. Amazing that although it was something that made you feel angry and disappointed, it eventually became something that really helped you book. So, as a cool and cool-headed person, para po ba sa inyo, okay lang magalit? Uh, well, it's, it's a human emotion, right? All of us get angry. Initially, when you feel angry, which happens a lot, then you just take a step back, you take a breath, maybe you go for a walk, or uh, this is the hand that life is dealing me right now. So, how can I go about it? How can I use this to make me better uh, as a person? That's what I did. Whenever someone gave me criticism, I thought to myself, okay, how can I take what they say and how can I learn from that and make myself a better artist? So that's how I try to kind of use my anger in a way that will help me at the end of the day. Oh, sir, gusto ko pong itanong sa inyo. How do you feel about the comments and bashers on YouTube po? Oh, yeah. That's oh, a good yeah. question, Art. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, I'll admit, I've heard worse from my uh, editors. I've heard worse from uh, my bosses in the past. Uh, because I, I, I had a long, very long career in art. I worked for a long time in comic books, and then I've worked for a long time in film. And part of the job is to take a lot of criticism. So when people come and then they, they say comments, first of all, I take a step back and I say, um, are they trying to be helpful? Or are they trying to be hurtful? Uh, because of my many years working professionally, uh, that helps me a lot to kind of get over people who like to bash and say, say bad things. Mm. It, it's human nature to, to feel uh, a little hurt by those things. It's human nature to feel angry at those things. But then, uh, after a while, I also say to myself, before I respond to these people, let me focus on the people who say nice things about me. Yes, very part, true, yeah. sir. I mean, sometimes when people say bad things, there's only a few of them. So why am I giving them the attention? I should give the attention to people who are who you know, like the work I'm doing, and I have to uh, you know, make sure that I'm giving the attention mm. to the people who deserve it. Oh, pause. Kung gusto niyo pang makilala ang ating guest artist of the day, you have to come back after our break. Ang mga maiinit na balita at rumaratsad ang usapan ng bayan, ihahatid namin sa 100%! Simula ngayong April 1, ang 100%, aba, alas 5 hanggang alas 7 na ng umaga. 100% pagbabalita. 100% talakayan. Lunes hanggang biyernes. Alas 5 hanggang alas 7 ng umaga. Live na live sa Radio Aguila, 1062 Mega Manila. At sa Net 25, 100%! 100%. All right, Art Academy is back. Oh, Pidge, parang speechless ka ata dyan bigla ah. Nagpa-fan girl lang ako kanina pa actually. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to learning more about our guest artist of the day. So, um, I just want to ask Sir James, may advice po ba kayo para sa mga teenagers katulad namin ni Art? 
Uh, first of all, I, I remember what it's like being a teenager. It was a long time ago, but I do remember <laughs> what it's like being a teenager. And sometimes when you're a teenager, you're unsure. Uh, sometimes you're a little self-conscious, you know. One thing to always remember is you have time. You are very, wow. very young. And you have a lot of time to figure that out. I say you work very hard in your school, okay? Uh, you know, if you want to be an artist, set some time aside to do a little bit, bit of drawing every single day. Every single day. So even if you are a teenager, and this is something you like to do, by all means, so that you could keep practicing and get your skills better. But remember again, you're young. Make sure that you have a lot of fun. You know, <laughs> go to school, you know, make friends. And, uh, you know, en enjoy yourself while you're still young. Because trust me, look at me. It goes away. <laughs> you still look very young. Oh, Sergei. thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's the film. <laughs> Grabe Peach, na puno notebook ko sa mga tips from Sir James. Thank you po ulit, Sir James. Maraming salamat po talaga. Thank you so much, Sir James. Yes, thank you for having me. This is a lot of fun. Uh, I'm very happy to be here, and thank you for inviting me to be on the show. So remember guys, okay lang magalit. It's a natural thing. It's just like expressing an emotion. Kaya lang, kapag sobra, it's bad for your health. You might get sick physically and mentally. It's also not good for the skin, you know. The dummy on wrinkles! What? Peach! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for us teenagers, we tend to be impulsive. Minsan hindi nag-iisip. Well, that's because it's natural. Okay lang yun, pero marami pa rin paraan para hindi mawalan ng control. Pwedeng maglakad-lakad. Or gumawa ng iba. Kumanta, sumayaw, or in other words, do art. Yes! Just like what we did, art can actually help us think about things and make us a better person. Makakatulong ang art para kumalma. And become successful in life. So guys, take care of yourself and your overall health. Why? Because we care. Oh, art, ang sweet mo naman. Yes, take care everyone. And that's Art Academy for today. Thank you for being with us today, guys. Yes! Join us again next time here on Art Academy where... Anyone, Anyone can, can create to express. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>should learn how to express it properly. Tandaan, wag masyadong magalit para hindi pumangit.